G'day guys, just out here today to show you the latest thing that I've added to the car, which is the canopy here from Concept Canopies. So I'm gonna go through why I chose Concept Canopies and I'll just run you through the setup. It's pretty basic. At the moment, it's basically an empty shell so I can work on it, adding things to it as I go and figure out how I wanna use it. So I've got the full ceiling all the way around. It's fully waterproof, single hand operation. You don't have to do two handles, just the one in the middle. Um, these infill panels, got some steps here. That's one of the advantages of being an extra cab instead of a dual cab. So with an extra cab, you got an extra 300 mil to the cab. So from here to the front of the canopy, 730 mil. With a dual cab, that would have only been 430 mil. Behind the wheel on both sides, I've got these little toolboxes. They maintain departure angle, they're quite large probably fit a compressor in there. So this enclosed portion of the canopy is 1500, uh, outside to outside. On the inside, got about 1430 on the floor space by about 1450 wide. So the total length from the front to the back is 1800. That gives me a 300 mil ledge here. Uh, the reason I did that was to try and keep weight forward. So on the rear of the car, I've gone for the dual jerry can with this single tire holder. I've actually moved the tyre back underneath. Run it underneath for now, keeps the weight lower and more forward than it would otherwise be. But I can run six tyres as well, and it makes it harder to nick the tyre. If anyone wanted to try and steal the tyre, it's a little bit more effort. I haven't gone with the ladder on the back. I don't have any trouble getting up there at the moment. I've got side steps, and I can use my tow ball hitch to get up on the back. One day I might put a ladder on if I ever go to a rooftop tent or I start storing things up there. The plans at the moment is just to have the solar panel and a UHF antenna up there, so I shouldn't need to get up there too much. Can always add it later, it's not too difficult a job to do. It can go over the spare tyre and it can fold out of the way. I've got the trundle drawer, put the dimensions up on the screen. So things like this and the behind the wheel toolboxes, they're not things I need at the moment, but it's easier to get them now, uh, especially the trundle drawer and the water tank, because you can't really fit them later. They have to be part of the original design. So that's why I've gone for this. Obviously everything's empty at the moment. So even though I've got the tray length to 1800 instead of 2100, so I've saved myself about 300 mil. Um, but I've also gone for the ledge. I didn't want the canopy to take up the full 1800. So when I put the spare on, it sits closer to the rear axle. It's less weight at the back. Same as the jerry cans. 20 litres of water is 20 kilos and 20 litres of diesel is probably 17 kilos. You know, there's 40 kilos. A tire could weigh about 35 when it's brand new. Uh, depending on the size that you got. So there's a lot of weight that you put on the back of your car, potentially. I just wanted to keep that as far forward as I could. At the moment, uh, I might even try running jerry cans on the inside, but I'll just see how I go for space on the inside. And if I run out of space, I've always got these here. This space is actually handy as a bench when you don't have the tire there. This is a pretty good standing height, so I might get a little table fabbed up that sits over here. But I like having the open space as well, so I want it removable. I don't want a gas strut or anything like that. So left hand side of the vehicle, uh, as you can see everything's empty at the moment, but the only difference on this side is you've got your steps with your fuel tank filler, uh, water tank, 60 litres underneath, fill point and a tap down below. That's just gravity fed, no pumps or anything at the moment, but that's all subject to change. So this here is a nice little hood, bringing cables through, this is your central locking. I've got no 12 volt at the moment in here. I'm going to make up a headboard, uh, I'm going to fit a battery obviously central, keep the weight in the middle. So this here, I'm going to have my 12 volt supply come through here. That will feed a BCDC or battery manager. And I might have an outgoing cable that'll run to an Anderson plug. That'll fit on the headboard here, just so I can attach and detach solar panels uh, quickly. Instead of hard wiring it through this, I'll just have an Anderson plug going out. So it comes with these alley channels. Put channel nuts in here, that's what I'll attach my headboard to. And we've got these east-west channels on the roof. Then on the back, we've got a couple more channels there. That strut is for the tire holder. It's all empty at the moment. Gonna have headboard here, battery in the middle. Right hand side will mostly be storage. I've bought some channel that we're gonna run north south and I can move it along here to the width that I want, use it as tie down, rubber matting, fridge here. On the back half, I don't have any plans at the moment. I could possibly put another wheel in uh, with some tie down points on the inside and just have it laying flat on the floor there. On the roof, there is a chance I'll get some shelves made up that hang from strut to strut. 
and I can just hang lightweight things off there, toiletry, sunscreen, all that sort of stuff. I wanted this blank canvas as much as possible so I could sort of get used to it and figure out how I wanted to use it. But there are some things like these toolboxes, the water tank underneath, the trundle drawer, that you just, you gotta get them done during the install because it's too hard to do later. Now on the roof of the canopy, you just got these channels they are about 14.50 long and they're about 14.50 apart. And they just allow me to fit up whatever I want at a later date, just using channel nuts and so forth. So up here will be a solar panel. Across the front will be an antenna. I'll try to get an awning. I've got an awning, it's a left-hand side awning. So I mount it over there. And I might go a shower awning on the right-hand side. I'm not really sure yet, but this is just free space. Most of my storage will go here or in the back of the extra cab. I'll try and keep nothing outside of the cab, keep the wind resistance down, keep everything protected and locked away. One of the main reasons I went with Concept Canopies was because they're one of the only canopy makers that will give you fully custom setup. So these measurements were actually in my choosing. I wanted 1500 with a 300 ledge. Uh, all of the other big canopy makers, they just offer a range of packages that you can fit to, depending on your car model, that you can fit on. And all of them with the extra cab give you a 2100 tray, which it's ridiculous. It's too long. It adds too much weight to the end. It allows you to hold too much inside. It hangs over car parks. It doesn't fit in my garage. There's all sorts of reasons. It's a pretty crap design. So one of the main reasons I went with Concept was because they're truly custom. You can ask for anything you want and they'll make it up for you. And the other great thing about Concept is the weight, this fully chassis mount. This isn't separate from the tray. Um, I have no interest in using it as a tray. So this whole thing weighs about 240 to 250 kilos. All the other quotes I got from your main canopy manufacturers were in excess of 390 kilos for this exact same design. So I've taken this over the Weybridge. Uh, I used to have a heavy duty steel tray on there and the weight is exactly the same. I took it over a second Weybridge just to make sure that it was accurate. And I contacted the manufacturer of those steel trays that I removed. They informed me that the tray weighed 250 kg. So that means this canopy weighs 250 kilos empty, which I think is pretty good for a canopy like this. So the reason I got for a canopy relatively early on, basically, I knew I wanted one eventually. There's a number of reasons I wanted it. I wanted to shorten the length of the car and I just wanted to get it over and done with. I knew I was gonna go that way eventually. There's no point going halfway. There's no point getting a cheap canopy or some part-time solution. I just wanted to get what I wanted straight away and just buy once, cry once. And in saying that, concept canopies are more reasonably priced. A lifetime warranty, anything that breaks, they'll just send out another part, which I think is brilliant. Fully built in house, they don't outsource at the moment. Uh, which means I had to ship this from Queensland, which wasn't too bad. It was about $1,500 to Perth. But what this means is that they keep the quality in-house and without outsourcing, they don't have any issues. Like I said before, they're one of the only ones I've found um, They actually do a proper custom canopy. So you can literally go to them with an idea and they'll make it up for you. A lot of the other companies will just turn around and tell you to shove it, basically. Obviously, horses for courses, uh, different designs available. I just went for a chassis mount. I've no interest in lifting this off because it's going to be lightweight anyway. So I don't need to lift it off to remove that weight because it's already lightweight. They do all the inside internal components and stuff like that. I wanted a blank canvas. I wasn't sure how I was going to use it. I knew the rough design that I wanted, the outside, the exterior. But as far as like fitting out the inside, I just wanted to build it as I went. One day I will probably have a set of drawers with the slide out table maybe some shelves and it won't get too much more complicated than that because I want to use a lot of it as storage. So price, uh, I can tell you how much it costs me. Uh, it doesn't mean the cost will be the same these days because prices are going up, raw materials, inflation, etc. I think from memory, I'll put the proper price up on the screen, but about $21,500 for me uh, to get this. And the great thing about Concept is they don't try and hide their prices. Everything's available on the website. I'll um, show you a screen recording now, but you go on there, you make your selections, and you'll see the price straight out. You know 100% what you're getting. You can go through all the custom mods, and as far as dimensions and any other ideas you have, just email them, and they'll be able to make it up to your design so you can get it exactly how you want it. 
part of the reason I wanted an extra cab was I get sort of 740 mil in front of the axle and part of the reason I wanted to keep this short so I limited the distance to the back. I didn't want the full canopy to here and then hanging tyres off the back because that would have put the tyre here. So the tyres moved in about 350, 400 mil. So concept, open with their prices, fully custom, lighter weight, uh, better quality control because they don't outsource at the moment. It might be annoying for you having to get it shipped or ship your car there for fitment, but they're actually cheaper than a lot of these other guys that just offer these packages. Uh, I'm not saying they're bad canopies, but for me it was a pretty easy decision in the end. So to me, being lightweight was a big thing. This weighing 240 to 250 kilos, that's uh, 130, 140 kilos less than the competitors would give you for the exact same package. Combine that with an upright fridge instead of a chest, a lithium instead of an AGM, and you can really sort of pin down the weight and keep it as low as possible, which makes the car more reliable, more fuel efficient. It's less likely that there's gonna be stress on your drive line, so it's less likely that things are gonna break. Every single kilometre you do, you're doing it with 150 kilos less weight on it. Uh, it's pretty hard to beat that. This isn't a cheap canopy by any means. It's a properly made, um, good quality, bush-proof canopy. And that's what I was looking for without being ripped off. This is the best that I've found. Now it's starting to rain, so I'm gonna pack it up there.